Morocco, which has largely been seen as an underdog, is up against a unified bid from Canada, the US and Mexico. I think that Donald Trump factor is helping Morocco, Monsef Belkayat, a member of Morocco's 2026 bid committee, told News Total Sports' Alex Thomas. Belkayat was responding to a question about Trump's April tweet lobbying for support. The U.S. has put together a strong bid W slash Canada and Mexico for the 2026 World Cup, Trump tweeted. It would be a shame if countries that we always support were to lobby against the U.S. bid. Why should we be supporting these countries when they don't support us, including at the United Nations? Read, the World Cup's biggest ever upsets Read, how Australia kept fit on 250,000 km World Cup journey Read, your country needs you. What nationality means to the modern-day footballer since the unified World Cup bid was announced in April 2017, the relationship between the White House and its proposed co-hosts has been touchy at times. Recently Trump called Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau meek and mild in a tweet over a tariff dispute following a G7 meeting. Tariffs imposed on Mexico along with plans for a border wall have also ruffled feathers south of the border. When you see what's happening with Mexico, what's happening with Canada lately, that's something that is not, you don't look united. Belkayat added. How united are you? Now we are seeing that politics is entering into the game. We believe that politics should be independent from football. Read, how Maradona redefined football in the space of less than five minutes read, 11 moments that shook the World Cup read and the winner of the 2018 World Cup will be. Each of FIFA's 207 non-competing members will cast a vote in Moscow on Wednesday at the 68th FIFA Congress, with a simple majority winning. Since the 2018 and 2022 World Cups were awarded to Russia and Qatar in December 2010, the voting process has gone under an intense amount of scrutiny, thanks in part to an FBI investigation. The U.S. was on the losing side of the 2022 World Cup bid. Which defining World Cup moment stands out for you? Have your say on our Facebook page or by tweeting at News Total Sport after the controversial award of the 2018 and 2022 tournaments to Russia and Qatar respectively, FIFA has promised a more open and transparent vote this time. The voting of the national associations will be published at the conclusion of Congress. The vote of UEFA and Asia will be decisive, said Belkayat. We will cross fingers in order to make sure this will be a fair play process, a transparent process. The New York Times vote tracker lists the North America bid as slightly ahead in the running, though 133 federations remain uncommitted, with 104 votes needed to guarantee victory. However Belkayat insisted the vote would be very close, adding, it's 50 to 50.